Hey. So today I just want to share some thoughts I've been having um, about working smart rather than working hard. So when you're trying to start your own business or something, uh, a lot of people will say that you need to put in a lot of hours um, and you need to work 24-7 and that's true. It is true because your competitors are going to be constantly also working and so um, it is true that you want to keep up with them and not not lose track of things but that doesn't mean you have to uh, not have a life either um, because I've thought about this a lot so I will say that I'm currently still in the early stages of what my business is but I, I've been thinking about how to make it work and basically I've also seen a lot of other videos on this topic and I, I generally believe that you don't really need to work 24-7 in order to, for it to be successful. So for example, um, just the idea of like having a website where pe people can visit your website and they can buy your stuff. So if you're able to make that happen, where people can go there and click and buy it, then you can make sales while you're asleep and you don't need to be working during those hours. Um, unlike other businesses that have to be like in a physical location, if you have an online business, then uh, you just need to have like a store page somewhere so someone can go to your store, pay $5 or $10 or whatever for your item um, or any amount of money and it's done and you're making money while you're sleeping and it's pretty good and you just need to get it to that point where the point that I'm concerned about is where you're at a good standard of living to the point where you're not struggling to survive and you can sort of have a decent life while also running your own business. That's sort of the thing that I want to do. Um, and I've, I've really tried thinking about how to make that happen. And so it is true that like more work you put in produces uh, more value, but also um, there are certain things you can do. So for example, um, one very simple thing that that I would suggest is to compete based on value rather than based on price. So, so for example, there, uh, let's say you're selling a video game. You could sell the video game for five dollars, or you could sell the video game for ten dollars or twenty. Now, you want to make sure that it's still within a reasonable price range because you can't sell a game for a hundred dollars. Nobody would buy that, but something reasonable and obviously the higher price of the item you're trying to sell the less of it you have to sell so uh, there's that um, but basically what I'm trying to get at is if you understand the worth that you're providing to people which is something I need to still get into my head uh, I really need to figure out what kind of value I'm providing to people but if you understand that, then you can actually raise your prices and people will still buy from you. So one major thing that I ran into early on was the fact that I wasn't really charging any money for what I made. Um, and so that's had its pros and cons. The good thing is a lot of people played my games and got my stuff, but the downside is I haven't been able to live off of it. Um, so the strategy I think I would recommend is that you, you put out like a free sample and then if people want more, then they'll buy the actual thing. Um, which is also done a lot for video games with like game, game demos and stuff. But just for any product, you can just have free samples and stuff like that, or, or just free free things. And if, if people want more, if they like it, then they can buy the, the full version or whatever. Um, so, but my point with that is just um, understand your value and what you're worth because you need to understand that before you can convince someone else to understand that. So you need to have a pretty good uh, idea of, you know, are you actually worth, uh, well, you need to have an idea of whether your, your, your product or service is what is actually worth. And so um, you need to have that confidence in yourself and your product and for that you're going to need motivation 
So it, that's why it's always recommended to work on something you're interested in. Um, so just to summarize everything so far, you got to have motivation to work on something you're interested in and understand the value that you're able to provide to somebody. And knowing that worth of like, well, okay, if I want to have a reasonable standard of living, then I need to charge this much. I, I need to charge $10 for my game, or I need to charge $20. Um, and then it's just a matter of convincing people that you're worth it. And if you can get one person, then you can get a second and you can get a third. And then it, it gets easier the more you're able to convince from there. And you also kind of want to get to the point where you have people coming back and wanting to buy like your next game or your next book that you've written. Uh, you know, you want to establish that. I think that's more important than trying to cast a white net. Just trying to cast a narrow one that, you know, you, you capture that really small audience, but they keep coming back. I think that's more important because um, that's more like consistency and uh, making sure that you know people people will come back and people who are highly interested in in that kind of stuff. Like if you're writing a very specific niche story that only certain people care about then they will, they'll be willing to pay a lot more for it because they understand that uh, they understand that there's not a whole lot of them out there. And because they value that so much, um, because they value your product or service so much because no one else has done anything with it, then that's exactly what they're gonna do. And I've experienced this myself whenever I put my game out and it was a mystery game, but people wanted more. So I put out an extra, an extra thing and uh, that had more content in it and you know people instantly bought it and they, they told me that they would have bought it for any price um, they were thankful that I didn't uh, charge too much for it and I, I, th I felt like the price was fair um, what I ultimately charged so um, so that went really well but um, my point is that if if you understand what your target audience values and you know that you're able to provide that value then you've got a really good deal because then it's just a matter of finding your target audience. It's just a matter of finding them. And that's just like, I guess you got to connect with people. That's, that's kind of the, the thing I'm working on is how am I going to find people who, who are interested in the stuff that I make? Um, and for that question, what am I even interested in making at this point in time? Because that changes a lot. And I've, I've been trying to find like commonalities of things that I like to make. Um, you know, to a certain extent, I do like making uh, mystery stories and stuff, but I, I also like making puzzles or simulation games. I also like RPGs. I like so many different things. Um, and then I also like stuff that's not even video games. So, so I don't know. Maybe that's for a different time. But the takeaway is you got to understand what you are worth, and you know what 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 can you contribute to the world? Because uh, everybody can contribute something. It's just gonna be different and understand what that is and find the people who value that and then then you'll be okay because people will understand it you can charge a decent amount of money for it and then you can just live off of that and that's my plan and we're gonna see how that goes um, I've been trying to get it going for a while and I've, I've tried different things um, obviously the latest thing is YouTube but uh, I think I should have been doing this a long time ago I just had it to work had to work up the courage to do it. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. And if you have any of your own thoughts or questions, put them in the comments below. I forgot to say that last time. So um, that's really it for today. Just, just sort of a few thoughts on that. So hope you have a good day and see ya.